In a matter of days, the solar system will briefly arrange itself into a configuration so precise it borders on the improbable. Earth will slip almost perfectly between the Sun and a fast-moving interstellar object known as 3I Atlas, aligning to within just 0.69 degrees, an accuracy so fine it is rarely achieved even by planets that have orbited the Sun for billions of years. This is not an eclipse, not a transit, not a spectacle meant for casual stargazing. It is something quieter and far rarer, a moment when light retraces its path. Sunlight will strike an object that originated beyond our stellar neighborhood and return almost directly back toward Earth, illuminating its surface and surrounding material in a way that strips away shadow, ambiguity, and concealment. For a brief window on January 22, 2026, 3i Atlas will brighten not because it changes, but because geometry does. The effect, known as an opposition surge, is subtle but profound, revealing physical details that are otherwise inaccessible. Astronomers did not plan this alignment. No one engineered it. It is a coincidence written into the object's trajectory long before it was ever discovered. And once it passes, it will not return. For an interstellar visitor that will soon vanish back into the dark between stars, this fleeting alignment represents the clearest look humanity may ever get a moment when an object from another system is forced, briefly and unavoidably, into the light. From the moment 3i Atlas was identified, astronomers understood that it was transient, here briefly and then gone forever. But what they could not yet know was that its trajectory would produce an almost perfect opposition alignment with Earth just months later. Such alignments are common for planets and asteroids, but vanishingly rare for objects arriving from interstellar space. No previous interstellar object has ever offered observers this geometry. In astronomical terms, opposition occurs when an object lies directly opposite the Sun in Earth's sky. On January 22nd, Earth will be positioned almost exactly between the Sun and 3I Atlas, allowing observers to see sunlight reflected straight back toward its source. This matters because light behaves differently when it is scattered back along its incoming direction. At extremely small phase angles, shadows on dust particles disappear, and constructive interference enhances the reflected signal. The result is a predictable phenomenon known as an opposition surge, a sudden increase in brightness that reveals information about surface texture, particle size, and composition. This is not speculation. It is a well-understood physical effect. What is unprecedented is seeing it occur for an object that originated outside the solar system. For astronomers, brightness is not about spectacle, it is about diagnostics. When an object brightens under opposition, the way its light changes, its intensity, its polarization, its spectral properties, encodes physical information. Grain size can be inferred, surface roughness can be constrained, the structure of surrounding dust can be analyzed with far greater confidence than at other viewing angles. In the case of 3i Atlas, these measurements are especially valuable because the object has refused, from the beginning, to behave the way a normal comet should. Shortly after its discovery, astronomers noticed something missing. There was no conventional cometary tail streaming away from the Sun. Instead, images revealed a faint but persistent structure extending in the opposite direction, a so-called anti-tail oriented roughly toward the sun rather than away from it. Anti-tails are not unheard of, but they are usually brief optical illusions caused by viewing geometry. In this case, the feature persisted for months and extended astonishing distances on the order of hundreds of thousands of kilometers. That persistence immediately raised questions about the nature of the material being released by the object. To understand why, it helps to consider how ordinary comets behave. As they approach the sun, heat causes ices to sublimate, releasing gas and tiny dust grains. Solar radiation pressure then pushes those grains outward, forming the familiar tail that points away from the sun. The smaller the particles, the more easily they are accelerated. For a tail to resist this pressure and remain pointed sunward, the particles must be unusually large. Analyses of 3i Atlas suggest dust grains in the range of roughly 10 to 100 micrometers, 
up to a hundred times larger than typical cometary dust. Large particles have less surface area relative to their mass, making them far harder to push with sunlight. This alone could explain why the object does not produce a normal tail. But that explanation opens new problems. Large particles are harder to lift off a nucleus in the first place. Producing them in large quantities requires either unusual surface conditions, unusual internal structure, or an unfamiliar outgassing mechanism. The alignment offers a rare chance to examine these particles under optimal lighting, potentially confirming whether large grains really dominate the dust environment of 3I Atlas, or whether something more complex is occurring. Another anomaly soon followed. Polarimetric measurements revealed that light scattered by the object exhibited negative polarization at levels stronger than those seen in any known comet. Polarization describes how the electric field of light oscillates as it travels. It is exquisitely sensitive to particle shape, size, and composition. Negative polarization is common at small phase angles, but the magnitude observed for 3I Atlas was extreme. Such behavior hints at unusual surface or dust properties, possibly linked to the prominent sunward jet, yet no existing comet model fully accounts for the effect. As observational data accumulated, attention turned to the object's rotation. Using images from the Hubble Space Telescope, astronomers analyzed 17 exposures taken between late November and late December 2025. The images revealed not one, but two jets, a dominant one aimed roughly toward the sun and a smaller one extending in the opposite direction. More intriguingly, the jets appeared to wobble over time, sweeping out a cone in space. This motion is analogous to a lighthouse beam, rotating as the object spins. By tracking the motion of the jets and correlating it with brightness variations observed from Earth, astronomers determined a rotation period of approximately 7.1 to 7.2 hours. This marked the first confirmed measurement of 3I Atlas. Rotation matters because it constrains the object's internal cohesion and structural integrity. Fast rotators risk flying apart unless they possess sufficient strength or internal bonding. A roughly seven-hour period places 3I Atlas in a range that is fast but not extreme, suggesting that it is neither a loose cloud of debris nor a monolithic solid. Combined with the presence of large dust grains and persistent jets, the rotation data point toward a complex internally structured body rather than a simple icy fragment. Throughout this unfolding investigation, one voice has remained central to interpreting the implications of the data. Avi Loeb. Loeb, a theoretical astrophysicist and former chair of Harvard's astronomy department, has co-authored multiple papers analyzing the geometry, dust properties, polarization, and rotation of 3I Atlas. His role has been both influential and controversial, not because the measurements themselves are disputed, but because he has consistently argued against prematurely dismissing unconventional interpretations. Importantly, his published papers on 3I Atlas are observational in nature. They describe what is seen, what can be inferred, and what remains unexplained. Loeb has been careful to emphasize what the alignment is and is not. It is not a moment of revelation that will suddenly resolve all mysteries. It is not expected to transform the object into something dramatically brighter or visually spectacular. Instead, it is a fleeting opportunity to reduce uncertainty to constrain models, to test whether the proposed explanations for the anti-tail, the dust size distribution, and the polarization anomalies hold up under the most favorable viewing geometry available. The importance of that opportunity becomes clearer when one considers how brief our encounter with 3I Atlas truly is. After discovery in July 2025, astronomers had only months to study the object before it moved farther away from the Sun and Earth. Interstellar objects do not linger. Their velocities, inherited from their birth systems, carry them rapidly through the solar system and back into interstellar space. Every observation must be made quickly, every alignment exploited, every coincidence taken seriously. And coincidences have not been in short supply. 
Beyond the January 22 alignment, 3I Atlas follows a trajectory that lies within a few degrees of the ecliptic plane, the same plane in which the planets orbit. It passes relatively close to both Mars and Jupiter. Its rotation axis appears to be roughly aligned with the direction of the Sun when the object is still far out. Each of these features, taken alone, could be dismissed as chance. Together, they form a pattern that is statistically uncommon, though not impossible. Science does not proceed by declaring such patterns meaningful or meaningless in advance. It proceeds by noting them, quantifying them, and testing whether natural explanations suffice. One future test will occur on March 16, 2026, when 3I Atlas passes close to Jupiter at approximately the distance of Jupiter's hill radius, the region where the planet's gravity dominates over that of the Sun. This does not mean the object will be captured, but it does mean that Jupiter's gravitational influence will briefly be significant. If anything unusual were to occur, such as fragments becoming bound to Jupiter, it would demand careful scrutiny. Natural mechanisms for such an outcome exist, but they require very specific conditions. Once again, the emphasis is on observation, not expectation. Throughout discussions of 3i Atlas, it is easy to lose sight of an important distinction. Anomalous does not mean artificial. Unexplained does not mean impossible. Astronomy is full of objects that initially defied understanding, only to become mundane once better data and better models emerged. At the same time, scientific progress depends on resisting the urge to force unfamiliar phenomena into familiar categories prematurely. The history of science is equally full of cases where early dismissal delayed understanding. The alignment sits squarely within that tension. It is neither a promise nor a threat. It is an opportunity created by geometry, timing, and chance. For a few days, Earth will occupy the best possible seat to observe a visitor from another star system under lighting conditions that almost never occur. Whatever is revealed will not answer every question, but it will narrow the range of possibilities. When the alignment passes, 3I Atlas will continue on its way, gradually fading as it recedes from the Sun. Data will be analyzed, models will be refined or discarded. Some anomalies may resolve cleanly, others may persist. That is the normal rhythm of science. Yet it is difficult to escape the sense that this moment represents something larger than a single object. Interstellar visitors are not theoretical curiosities anymore. They are a class of objects we can observe, measure, and compare. Each one carries information about environments far beyond the sun's influence. On January 22, 2026, light reflected from 3I Atlas will travel back toward Earth along nearly the same path it arrived. In that symmetry lies a rare clarity. Nature will offer a glimpse, brief and understated, into the structure of something that formed elsewhere and wandered into our neighborhood by chance. There will be no announcement when the moment passes, no marker in the sky, only data quietly gathered, and the knowledge that for a short time the geometry was perfect and the universe had fewer places to hide.